Here's a quick look at the new Parallax Feedback 360 servo. It operates just like a regular continuous rotation servo. Same basic servo style commands make it rotate. But what's unique about it is it has a built-in Hall effect sensor. And it's an absolute sensor, meaning it tells you exactly what the position of the output is. So it outputs a 3.3 volt PWM signal um, that varies from like around 3% to 97%. And two different ways to read that. Let's see, first of all, um, I can read it as an ADC. I have a uh, one microfarad cap there to sort of smooth out the PWM signals. And this is currently, let's see, here's my sort of uh, serial screen. So the, you know, not much of the program there. Um, we're not really driving the servo, but we're just kind of looking at the output. So as I wiggle the servo, you can see the numbers. I'm, I'm right at the transition right now. So it's kind of going, I guess the minimum is about 7. And once I cross over, I get about 249. And then as, as I rotate it, the numbers all kind of change accordingly. So this is just using an 8-bit ADC, very easy to, uh, to do. And once again, there, it gives me the range of 7 to 248. And I've also, let me see, I can move the, the window. And if you use ADC 10, the range goes more like 31 up to 995. Now we'll look at another way. And now we're going to use pulse in. So I've removed the capacitor. So we have a direct digital pulse input, still going to the same input, which is pin B6 right now. So once again, okay, you can tell I've kind of commented out the ADC, and now we're just using pulse in. So the numbers we're getting here are going to range from about 6 to 215. I'm going to wiggle the servo right now. There's 6, about 215 right there. So again, we're right on the edge right there. And then as I rotate it, all the numbers get, you know, proportionally longer. So just a great, very useful servo that's brand new to have an integral encoder like that. So I'm sure this is going to have all sorts of wonderful uses. That's the Parallax Feedback 360 servo.